Hi guys, we're going to go over how we can do long division. And this is going to help you when you get to your decimal unit um, because you'll have a decimal after this whole number. So if I were to write this problem another way, you would see it written out like this. 456 divided by three. Okay, my three goes in on the outside, my 456 goes on the inside of the bracket. Okay, and I'm drawing lines down the middle just to kind of divide that up. I'm gonna start by writing out my threes facts on the side. So this is three times one, three times two, three times three, etc. All right. And I'm gonna stop at three times nine. So we have three times one, three times two, three times three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't have to write three times 10 because that would be too many numbers for one box on top. The biggest number I'm gonna have on top of a number is nine. Okay, and my steps are does, which is divide, McDonald's, which is multiply, sell, which is subtract, and burgers, which is bring up. So I'm gonna start with my divide step. How many times can three go into four? So in other words, how many skip counts are as close as I can get to four without going over? If my number is bigger than four, it doesn't work. So I'm gonna look at my skip counts on the side and I wanna see which one of these is as close to four as I can get without going over. And it looks like three is as close as I can get without going over. Six is too big. So this was one time, right? One skip count. So my one goes at the top. Three went into four one time. And then I multiply. So this is my divide step, then I multiply. Three times one we just said was three. After I multiply, I subtract. Four minus three gives me one. And my last step, I bring up my one. I'm finished with that row and now I'm gonna move on to the second row, which is 15. I wanna see how many times three can go into 15 without being too big. So as close as I can get to 15, or 15 exactly. I see 15 over here on the side. So I wanna see how many threes make 15. Here's one three, two threes, three threes, four threes, five threes. So my five goes at the top. That was my divide step. Three went into 15 five times. Next I multiply. Three times five we just said was 15. Or if I wasn't sure of my facts, I could always count out one, two, three, four, five. Here it is. Okay. Subtract 15 minus 15 is zero. I bring up my zero and I'm left with six. How many times can three go into six? It goes in one two. So this is my divide step, right? It goes in two times. One, two, or two skip counts of three, right? Three, six. Next, I multiply. Three times two is six. I subtract. Six minus six is zero. I have nothing else over here to bring up, so I'm done. I have no uh, remainder because I have a zero here. So here's my answer. 152. Next, you're gonna try on your own. You can either write yours on paper like I did, and you'll upload it into a Google Slides. 
or on the Google Slides, there'll be a Jamboard link, and you can put your uh, answer into one of the blank Jamboard slides. I need to see your work one of the two ways, and I want you to make sure that it looks like this long division for me, okay, because this is what we're practicing. Let me know if you guys have any questions.